this is me. I'm showing, I try to understand Mr. Putin a little bit yesterday in order to try to forgive him. So I did my analysis of him from an esoterical point of view as from demonology. And um, one thing that always stuck out is how proud he is being born in the year of the dragon. And his idols were Stalin and Lenin. And many say that uh, Hitler is the worst, but they don't know their world history really, dearie. The propaganda that started uh, after the fall of the Iron Curtain in 1991 and people stopped reading books with the internet and watching old documentaries, they find it easier to believe what is on a computer screen and so on. But then his desire to become a Tsar ruling over a super Russia with the rules of the Soviet Union that showed no mercy for anyone. And then we look at the generational demons. Each of us have uh, generational demons in our ancestry line. And his grandparents, they grew... Um, Either they were young when the communism started, probably, and uh, but they grew into adulthood with communism, and there was a strict no religion uh, rule, and gulag was a co um, constant threat, and um, since the Second World War Two. Especially Finland, they, they tried to smuggle in Bibles to Russia since they were prisoned by uh, practicing religion. And uh, they kept, in communism, they kept people obedient. They lived in poverty and in the workplaces. Uh, this happened uh, even in the 19. 89s and so on during uh, for breakfast they could get beer or a little bit of vodka and at lunch and then there was maybe in the cold shows there were maybe one clothes shop and a liquor store so they made them alcoholic and then they had to buy so all the money stayed within the cold shows and the communistical party so so they couldn't get rich in any way and that is something that many don't uh, know that nowadays and there was no free will or speech and if they survived uh, during the world war 2 and uh, they were uh, his family comes from st petersburg that is, uh, was a horrible time with the Germans there. And then we look at his parents. His parents and family were oppressed by KGB, poverty, alcohol, abuse, no free will or speech, World War II and the siege of St. Petersburg. And it was so terrible, so in order to survive the people in St. Petersburg ate human flesh. And that is the biggest entry point for demonics to enter in. And uh, if you are born to someone who has done that, there is a darkness within your soul when you are born that you can't help. And um, then the... We look at his personality. I want, I get it. He is no remorse and he's cold. And his f fear of losing face and power. And what he did in the past from early on, he betrayed own family and his, uh, his hometown, St. Petersburg. In the 80s, there was this wheat and meat scandal where people were starving, there were no food. 
He swindled the money. He took the meat and wheat and they were going to be paid for it uh, when they swapped with Siberia and so forth. But he pocketed the money himself. So people were starving since they didn't get paid back in meat or wheat. And in 1986, he was a very low-grade um, Stasi agent in Dresden. And uh, since I knew people and uh, I was in Eastern Germany, I was in Rothenhof, I um, drew sometimes things they needed into Eastern Germany through the checkpoint Charlie and was held in Rothenhof at the um, Russian military centre there as they went through all my belongings and my lorry and... Uh, they were so afraid that I was a spy or something. So I thought I was imprisoned practically since I weren't allowed. There were no phone calls, nothing, and I just had to wait it out there. And he had only a few trips to London, so that makes me wonder that he didn't really make it in Stasi. He weren't trusted enough, I guess. He, lies, uh, he lied his way into police uh, politics using KGB and Stasi tactics. And he took this black belt in judo. And he sold himself to office as an experienced security personnel. And as a president, the meat and wheat exposed uh, scandal got up. An autograph and the stamps they used in the offices were confirmed by scientists as well. And there is one documentary that might be around, and it's made by BBC, uh, by Louis Theroux, I think it was. I saw other... Um, documentaries, but they were all killed, the journalists uh, from Russia who made them. And uh, in that episode, the documents were hidden by one of the murdered uh, uh, journalists' sister in Siberia, who were living under death threat and uh, disappeared. So I don't know if she's alive and where the documents are, but maybe if you are good with the internet, you can find out. And he orders killings daily, civilians, animals. And tact is ruled by terror from day one. He always choose whatever, he, if somebody said no to him, there were these small attacks where a school or a hospital or something like that just exploded. So he put people in place that, Hmm, this could happen. Maybe only 14 persons were killed without cause. And he never uh, apologized and not everything was um, known by uh, Europe. He has a good quieting system. And uh, he supports ISIS and hires mercenaries. There are plenty of good mercenaries out there. A former UN um, soldiers and from the special forces that uh, work for freedom and humanitarian causes. And then there are those crazy bastards who m uh, want to make money and kill. So, But he has a lot of support here in my area. We have the highest concentration of ISIS terrorists returning from Syria and they want to help Mr. Putin. And um, he has the inability to trust anyone. So the demonic influence is strong here. Sacrifices of blood and suf uh, suffering is escalating. And as he's, his age makes him very close to death and the demons are losing interest in him now. So his desperate bid for immortality is... 
and no demon can grant you that. And uh, and uh, when he joined the Orthodox Church, the only thing a person like him who has no faith and that is that is so that he can start commanding demons, you have to go into church and consecrate the tools and. Uh, whatever object you rule and get that authority, you can't control the demons he wants. And I got a feeling he's called upon the demons from John Dees, those that were forbidden to be, ever be called, and um, then, of course, all the other regular ones. But... Uh, so my trying to forgive that one percent of his soul is that that his parents probably had to eat human flesh, and that was not his fault. Uh, so step down, Putin. Repent and confess to God and contact an exorcist. I hope that um, you get the help you need. That was all for now.